I will go ahead with the metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. I will present a case. It's, it's a 72 years old male patient presented with left flank pain to the emergency department. No significant past medical history. Patient was on antibiotics. On physical exam, left CVA tenderness. Rectal exam revealed hard nodular prostate. Rest of the physical exam was insignificant. Euroscan was ordered. It revealed left retrohydronephrosis, thickening of the bladder wall with surrounding fat stranding. Labs were normal, except for a 13 PSA. And this is the CT scan with left hydronephrosis. And this is the nodule in the prostate. What's the next step? What we have done, we have done a double G insertion and urine cytology was taken. Three weeks later, PSA is still rising to 16. MRI abdomen and pelvis were, was ordered. The MRI has shown a prostatic mass in peripheral zone measuring 24 times 18 millimeter the retro, uh, and a retrovesical mass 20 times 17 millimeter, iliac lymphadenopathy, hypodense lesion in the right femoral diaphysis. This is the nodule in the prostate. Prostate biopsy was done and revealed adenocarcinoma Gleason 9, 5 plus 4, infiltrating 30% of the received pieces. Metast metastatic workup, a PET scan was ordered. We have seen on the PET scan 1.4 centimeter lesion in the left upper lobe of the uh, lung and two subpleural nodules in the left upper and lower lobes, multiple mediastinal lymph nodes, multiple bone metastases. This is a PET scan. What's your management? ADT alone, ADT plus ARTA, ADT plus chemotherapy, ADT plus ARTA plus chemotherapy, surgical castration, radiotherapy, sent to oncologist. Eli? I think this is the beauty of prostate cancer now that it's not uh, one, one size fit all uh, therapy. Yes. Uh, but basically, the two parameters that we would consider in treating is whether it's uh, synchronous or metachronous, and the other factor is, is whether it is high volume or low volume. Mm -hmm. Based on those factors, de novo high volume are the worst, and uh, metachronous low volume are the best. So starting from here, we can modify and then we we'll take therapies. into consideration the patient's status, whether it's f he is frail, what's his age, and we can go up. The, the, high, the strongest would be the, triple, the triplet therapy. This is now, yeah. And uh, yeah. in the best case scenario for very, very limited cases, uh, metachronous low volume frail patient, we can even go for ADT alone. And we have all what you've all cited the in, in, between. in the middle. In the middle. Yeah. So I would let you discuss further this case, how okay. you, you manage your patient. Okay. We have decided ADT plus ARTA apalutamide. PSA dropped to 0 0.2 after six months. Progressive increase till three after 15 months. Symptomatic bone pain. PET scan PSMA was done. And there is increase in bone and lung metastasis. Testosterone was 30.7. Patient is now CRPC. And you have the all different options to treat CRPC, but will not go through. Further management, withdrawal anti-androgen, chemotherapy, change ARTA, sent to oncologist. Also, we, are, we have a big gam of treatment options now, and we will do MDT and we will try to, to, to find something suitable for the patient. Zahi, what you will go to, will do now? It's metastatic CRPC. Changing from anti-androgen to another anti-androgen was not very significantly efficient. Mm -hmm. So going back to anti-androgens, I don't think it's a good option here. Maybe mm -hmm. probably going to chemotherapy in this patient, Gleason 9, would be a good option since uh, we, we use the anti-androgen, which, which is efficient, and going mm -hmm. back to Zytiga or another anti-androgen mm -hmm. would, would, would not be uh, sufficient enough. 
this as Eli said, this is a, maybe a, a triple therapy for this a high volume disease would be uh, suitable if the patient accepts. I agree with, uh, with what Zahi was saying, but I would opt for what I wouldn't do is send to oncologists because we need this those patients, yes. we need to, keep to be a multidisciplinary approach, mm. yes. not send him to the oncologist nor the oncologist send him to me. Mm. Really, we need to sit together with the, the radiation therapist and the oncologist and decide on those, uh, on those patients, but fully agree that switching from one ARTA to another one is, is definitely not the useless. way Useless. Okay. Good. Metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. Uh, the review of the current treatment. Hey. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, maybe you'll tell something about it, okay? Good. This is the current treatment landscape, M0, N0, ADT plus radiotherapy plus minus bracket therapy plus con consideration of abiraterone and prednisone. Uh, low volume disease, we can add the radiotherapy to the uh, ADT, abiraterone, enzalutamide or, or apalutamide and to treat until progression. High volume disease, ADT plus either chemotherapy, doxytaxel with prednisone, abiraterone, enzalutamide, apalutamide. We have a lot of options and we have to decide. Uh, metastatic prostate cancer treatment algorithm in clinical practice. We have a low burden, ADT plus or minus uh, uh, abiraterone, enzalutamide, apalutamide plus radiation therapy when low burden, high burden, chemotherapy, abiraterone, enzalutamide, or apalutamide. AAU guidelines offer ADT combined with abiraterone acetate plus prednisone or apalutamide or enzalutamide to patients whose first presentation is M1 disease and who are fit enough for this regimen. You are different option. You are a lot of options. Summary of treatment of metastatic hormone sensitive. ADT alone no longer the standard of care. Chemotherapy primary for high volume. Now is uh, we can discuss it. Uh, three oral uh, therapies are available now: abiraterone, enzalutamide, apalutamide. Uh, this is not uh, valid any longer. Probably do not use doxytaxel at the same time as the oral agents. Uh, but this is not. The Dr. Bulbul will tell something about it today. No head-to-head -head comparison. Unclear which one of the four options is the best. Side effects and risk vary somewhat. Individualize our uh, uh, individualize for your patient. Erlida is one of the latest innovation in androgen signaling inhibition in uh, metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. Selective binding, uh, favorable binding affinity, fully antagonist, no significant agonist activity, and low seizure pro potential. And this is uh, used in high uh, or low risk disease, in high or low disease volume, and Gleason score seven or more, de novo metastatic disease, and previous toxitaxel or no previous toxitaxel, you can use it still. Uh, the Titan study, the study is the background study for the use of apalutamide uh, in metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer compared to ADT alone. And uh, these patients, the dual endpoint of this study was the overall survivor and the radiographic uh, progression free survival. Pre previous treatment for uh, localized disease and previous doxytaxel uh, were allowed also. Contraindication for ELIDA is severe angina, myocardial infarction, symptomatic congestive heart failure, uh, clinically significant arterial or venous and thromboembolic events history of thromboembolic events and history of recent ventricular arrhythmias were excluded. Uh, this is the way it inhibits at multiple sites of action the ERLIDA, the androgen receptors. And uh, the uh, uh, Titan uh, study has shown that we have 33% reduction in the risk of death uh, for the over survival and 52% reduction in the risk of radiographic progression or death. 
and uh, intervene early with a leader ADT significantly extends overall survival, delay time to PSA progression, maintains health quality of life, healthly rated quality of life versus baseline, significantly delays the radiographic progression survival versus ADT alone, and a safety profile the is like comparable to ADT alone and easy to use. Once daily, doesn't interfere with the food and no need to, for co-administration of corticosteroids. And this is save the date, our Congress in June. Thank you very much.